this week we want to do a short video uh, main purpose of the video I want to introduce my two daughters this is Rachel this is Kathy they'll be coming with us to Barzee Summer Bash and uh, we're all looking forward to that uh, we got to get them some shirts uh, some solid rock shirts before that takes place uh, but both of them are playing a role in solid rock a little bit different than each other uh, they also have different ambitions in life and so I'm just going to let Rachel uh, start she'll tell you a little bit about her role and some of her ambitions and we'll go to Kathy uh, I do some bookkeeping for solid rock um, I like reading and I hope to publish a book sometime in the future uh, I do some of the machine work um, I also love woodworking and photography now these, these are the two girls that keep stealing my tools and so when you see in our previous videos when I'm looking for something I can't find it, most of the time they're using it and it's somewhere else. And uh, Anyways, uh, but I can't get mad at them because they're doing so many uh, projects in the house uh, as far as remodeling. They built uh, my wife and myself the kitchen table. We'll show you some pictures. They did a beautiful job on that. These are projects that I would have to do and it would take me uh, away from time of doing some of the machining and the YouTubes and so I'm really grateful and so uh, they know that they can use my tools anytime they need and so it all works out in the end for, for, for the So anyways, uh, I want to just uh, show if you girls want to step aside a little bit. One of the projects were uh, uh, Rachel and Jeremiah. You guys had met Jeremiah. Uh, they, they've been, or not Rachel, but uh, Kathy and Jeremiah, they've been helping us with. And it's again, what we've been focusing on is this boring bar fixture. What we've been working on last week and finishing up this week is some uh, bushings uh, that we can put in these holders. What we've had in the past, we had it set up, there's a half inch hole through these holders that you can put your half inch bar in, you can slide this in this fixture and you can use that. Well by putting these bushings inside these holders, uh, we can put a 3 8 diameter bar in there and uh, we can do 3 8 bars and half inch bars with the same fixture. And so what I have on the... Uh, what I have on uh, these uh, holders, I've got some little slots that are milled, they're all identical. And then uh, what I have on these bushings, I have a little pin that is uh, uh, loctited in there. They're split on the side. So what you can do is you can put this bushing in there and it will stop on the pin. You can take this bar, push that in. You can slide the bushing on in the other side. And uh, the nice thing about those bushings, uh, because when they're setting in the proper position, you can line the length of the bar up real nice. But once you get lined up, and then you just tighten the screws down, and then you throw this in your fixture. Uh, throw that in your fixture, and then you can start doing all your work on your boring bars. So, uh, Kathy, uh, she has been a great help, her and Jeremiah. They've been a great help on uh, making these bushings. And Jeremiah, uh, uh, anyhow, he he did a lot of work uh, on this fixture building needs you and has done a real nice job on it. And you can probably see that in uh, some of the Instagram and some of the other uh, videos we have. But anyways, where Kathy uh, came out, she ground one job. I thought this was her first on Instagram, but apparently she ground one other job. This plate is 8 inch by 8. Our grinder is a 6 by 18. So this plate has to move. Uh, we can grind so much and then we've got to shift the plate and grind uh, the rest. And anybody that has done any grinding, you can know how hard that is to blend a surface on there. Everything's got to be right. And so uh, this was Kathy's second job. And if you look at her Instagram, I'll put a link uh, to uh, some of the Instagram videos. Uh, uh, you'll see that uh, I'm measuring this plate and she had that ground uh, uh, less than two ten thousandths of an inch and it's, it's flat it, it's stuck to the table there's a suction in there you got to really pull up real hard to get that thing to, to lift up so the flat uh, real good job 
They've both been a great help. And uh, so anyways, we got the fixture made. We'll be able to do 3 8 bars. We'll probably do a video on the actual making of these pretty soon. Being able to use the fixture and a lot of thanks to Jeremiah and Kathy for a lot of the work that they've done. And Jeremiah, I want you to come in here uh, right now too. Uh, because uh, Jeremiah's learning this trade that uh, I, I don't think he's ever told anybody about some of his ambitions as well uh, outside the shop. Why don't you go ahead and let him know? Um, outside the shop, um, I love wedding a lot, and um, I'm planning on publishing um, pretty soon in a few months. Okay, so, so we got a couple people in the house that want to be writers, and, and I've told them writing is a hard field to get in, and they know that. Uh, you got to be really good to make it in writing, so one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're learning this trade, so they got something to fall back on. I want them to pursue their dreams. I don't want to say, hey, because Dad is a machinist, you got to be a machinist. I want them to pursue their trade, but I don't know how to write. I know how to make things out of metal. This is the only thing I can really offer them. I'm not a rich man. I don't have an inheritance to give them. What I do have to give, that's what I'm planning on giving. It's the knowledge of machining. And uh, a lot of times people ask me, they'll say, uh, you know, how old are you, Steve? And my reply a lot of times, I'm about three-fourths dead. And they'll say, well, that's a morbid thought. I said, no, it helps me remember how short of a time I have to make a difference. And one of the things I'm looking at I have about a fourth of my life left, and you got to remember as you get older, that last fourth of your life, as it gets closer and closer, because of age, uh, there can be less and less you can do. So I got to take the short amount of time I got left and try to instill uh, some of the things I've learned over, you know, 40 years, and try to give them a shortcut to become some excellent machinists. And so that's my goal in life, and this is what I can give back to them. And because of my son Adam. We wouldn't even be doing these YouTube videos except for the fact that Adam, he said, Dad, why don't we, with technology, why don't we use YouTube? And you can offer this to other people as well. And I thought that was a great idea. So, of course, they're getting a little bit more hands-on training, but we just want to offer some of the same tips and things to you people out there. And for some of you people that are further along than the things I'm showing you, hey, you can look at it for entertainment or skip over it. For some of you that uh, haven't seen some of these things, I'm hoping that it, uh, you find these YouTube videos as a benefit and that you can learn from them and that uh, you too uh, will find a little bit of a shortcut on some things that will help you out in this trade. Well, that'll be it for this video. We'll see you next time.